Hi guys, what's up? Tori here. So I know it's been a really long time since I last did a video um, to update you guys on things. And um, because yeah, Braylee is now 15 months old, believe it or not. And I am so sorry I don't have her actually physically in the video with me. It is impossible to actually like try to film one of these videos with her. Um, because she is so busy and constantly on the move, on the go. I actually tried to do this um, with her awake so I could include her in the video the other day and she ended up going off to play and then tripping and bumping herself on something and so then she started crying and it just it didn't work and she also constantly just wants to take my phone and grab things. She is so busy and on the go. Um, so this video I'm going to update on her, but also just kind of do a quick little like life update as well. So I'll just kind of mostly get started with updating on Braylee. Um, I, she's upstairs in bed. She's asleep now because it's um, almost 8 o'clock at night. She's been in bed for a little bit, but I'll just <laughs> quick show her um, monitor to you guys a minute here. So uh, there she is on the monitor. You guys can kind of see her there sleeping away. She's always in different wacky positions all the time, but, um, yeah, so <laughs> just to kind of show her to you, like I said, she is 15 months old now, um, she, and I, she, we actually just were at the doctor for, um, to <laughs> get some tummy troubles that she was having taken care of, um, and checked out, um, everything's fine, no major issues, um, but so I actually do know her current weight and length. So she is actually 21 pounds now and she is 30 inches. So she, I think was like in the 56th percentile for her weight. And then she was like 30th percentile for her height. So still running on the shorter side, um, but getting up there higher in the percentiles for her length. She's always, she's always ran short. She's always been a little peanut. Um, but I mean, she is a very healthy, busy little bee. Um, she is walking now and by walking, I mean more like running. Um, she is all over the place. She is fast. Um, she started walking right around when she turned 14 months is kind of when she started walking. Um, she kind of started taking just like little steps here and there. And then like Matt and I did a lot of like playing with her and being like, come here, come get mommy, come get daddy and having her go back and forth to us. And she thought that was like so much fun. Um, and then like she just kind of progressively got better and better and better. And now she is just all over the place. She actually pretty much always walks. She honestly rarely crawls now too. She, I mean, she'll crawl once in a while, a little bit here and there, but she doesn't really crawl a super ton anymore. She pretty much just walks everywhere. Um, she, um, she, she can stand up by herself, like in the middle of the floor, but when she does it, like she doesn't kind of like freaks herself out and is like, what did I just do? And she'll just like, and then she like immediately will go to like reach for something and grab it and then like <laughs> take off walking from there. So she won't, she doesn't do it all the time because like it freaks her out when she does do it. Um, most of the time when she stands up, she, like, will make her way over to something that she can stand herself up on. Um, but that'll come. That'll get there. I have no doubt about that. She's kind of been that way with, like, everything. That, like, when she first starts doing it, it freaks her out. So she's not sure if she wants to do it. And then all of a sudden she'll take off and do it. She did the same thing with crawling. Same thing with walking, too, even. Um, so she'll get there with that. Um... And she can say a lot of words. She actually has started kind of trying to repeat what you say a little bit too. But she does say a lot of words. She says mama. She says daddy. Um, she says kitty. She says cow. Um, she will sometimes say like what this. Like, it, uh, like I mean it doesn't sound like completely clearly like what this. But it like you know just kind of that little like baby babble kind of sound. Saying what this is kind of like a what this, what this, what this like kind of sound um she'll say that um she says teeth when it's time to go brush her teeth she'll say teeth um she says cheese um she'll say fish which means her goldfish because she loves sorry i had hiccups because she loves goldfish crackers so she'll say that um 
Uh, what else will she say? I don't know. She said there's a lot of like words. She, she does have quite a few words that she'll say to us. Um, and a lot of times that'll like she'll sometimes try to like repeat to you if you say something to her. She'll sometimes try to repeat it back to you. So she's kind of starting to get into that a little bit. Um, she um, clothing size. She's an 18 month clothes now. She's been an 18 month clothes for probably about a month, maybe a little more than that. Um, Cause yeah, it was sometime in January. I think it was like at the end of January that I started switching her into 18 month stuff because 12 month was getting way too small. So, um, yeah, she's been in 18 month for a little bit now. Um, as far as eating, um, she eats pretty much anything you will give her. I mean, there are some things like if you give it to her, she'll try it and not be a fan of it, but she is a very good eater. Um, some of her, her main favorite foods though are she loves pasta noodles. Um, she loves potatoes and she loves cheese. Like those are her favorite things. She also really loves bananas. Um, she will down like almost, she will eat almost a whole banana on her own. Not quite. She'll eat. It's usually a little less than a full banana, but it gets pretty darn close. Like she goes to town on bananas. Um, she also really does enjoy eggs too. Her breakfast in the mornings, I've given her eggs. Um, her favorite snack right now is goldfish. She is obsessed with goldfish. Um, she also really likes yogurt. If you give her a cup of yogurt, she will literally just go to town on it. She's starting to, um, use her utensils a little bit, her feeding utensils. She'll like attempt to use like a fork and a spoon like and she like she does try and she's kind of just she's starting to figure it out and she loves like she loves it when you give it to her because she loves to try to use it um I've also kind of started offering her like bowls and plates and stuff I don't always I because she still will like if she gets done then she just throws it and if there's still a lot on it like it's just a huge mess so like it depends on what I give her sometimes I'll offer her the plate sometimes I will not um it's kind of been one of those I've been starting to do with her. Um, she has been done nursing since like the beginning of January is kind of like when we officially were totally, it was like right around the New Year's when she kind of pretty much officially stopped nursing altogether. Um, because we were down to pretty much just nursing at night and then she kind of all of a sudden kind of stopped showing like interest in it and then she also really wasn't being interested in me rocking her to sleep anymore and so I was like all right we'll just start laying you in your crib so like I sing her so for at night like when I go to put her to upstairs to put her in her room to put her down in her crib and I, I hold her for like just a minute and snuggle her for just a minute and there's a little song that I sing to her um, right before I lay her down and I'll like kind of cuddle her and sing that to her and then I just lay her right in her crib and then she usually will fall asleep not too long after I mean she has the occasional night like tonight it actually took me going back in there to lay her back down a couple of times she has the occasional night like that but it's pretty rare that doesn't happen too often um as of lately knock on wood <laughs> um but she does good with that we have a solid routine with her um and she <laughs> she just was rolling over um she is such a happy go lucky baby, but she's so busy. Like she moves non stop. Like literally the kid just is non stop. She does not stop moving. If she sits by you, it does not last long before she is up and on to the next thing. Like she's just go, go, go non stop. Literally non stop. Um, she she is tiring and you have to watch her because she will get into whatever she wants. We actually have baby gates um blocking one is blocking our stairs to head upstairs because she knows how to climb stairs, but she cannot go back down very well. Um, and then the other gate kind of blocks like to get to our entryway, which is like, if, so that way she cannot get to the bathroom. And then she also cannot get to the stairs that lead down to the basement at all. Um, it just kind of blocks that whole area off. Um, we have that basically just to keep her from getting down to places down, like, basically avoiding the stairs and also it keeps her out of the bathroom too because there's a lot in there that she shouldn't play with and she also likes to play in the toilet and unroll toilet paper <laughs> so yeah um and then we also have like safety latches on like anything she can possibly open that we don't want her getting into she is always playing in tupperware and pots and pans in the kitchen um literally if she can get into it she'll get into it she's figured out her climbing abilities um 
Uh, another update on her is she actually finally has enough hair for little ponytails and pigtails. Um, I have put ponytails in her a few times and I did pigtails for the first time last weekend actually is when I did pigtails for the first time on her. So she has like just enough hair that I can finally do that with her. Obviously they're like small, it's not anything crazy, but um, it is super cute. Um, I'm going to, I'll just link my Instagram below for you guys because there are some, there are pictures of her with her hair like all cute and stuff on my Instagram so that way you guys can check that out and see like pictures and um, I do like, up, like do posts and stuff on there a lot more than I do on here. Um, so yeah. Um, and Braylee is also officially no longer in her infant carrier car seat. We also moved her out of that about a month ago as well um, because she was like just about to outgrow it so we just went ahead and moved her out of that and into the next car seat and the next car seat we got we actually got the Graco forever um, is what it's called because it literally just grows with them and like we won't have to buy her another car seat like ever like the next time we'll probably have to buy another car seat would be when we have another kid um, so like it it cost a little bit more but it is worth the price because it'll last her and we won't have to buy another one. So like it was the most cost efficient basically that we went with. Um, so yeah, she's, she's getting so big. Um, and because like, you know, she's walking and stuff now, like I've started actually putting shoes on her more often and all that. And it's just, it's so crazy to see her learn and figure things out. Like she is starting to figure so much stuff out. Like she is like, She's honestly one of those kids that is almost too smart for her own good. Like she figures things out so fast and catches on to things so fast. And it's, it's really cool to see as a parent. Like it's just so amazing like how much she has grown and changed like in this short 15 months of her life. Like it's so, it's so crazy, but it's so cool all at the same time. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> there is so many toys that she's always playing with. She actually has favorite favorite things now too. She has a stuffed cow that she sleeps with every night and she literally will say cow, cow and want her cow. Um, she loves kitties, any sort of toy kitty. She loves, she has actually a couple of little toy kitties that she got from Matt's mom for Christmas that like walk and meow and she loves those things as well. Um, and she has certain toys that she gravitates to towards and plays with the most um she has this like little piggy bank that you can put coins in she loves that one she has her little um table that you can stand by that has stuff on it she has loves to go by that she loves books she loves to just sit and like page through books her favorite one is it's a poke it's called a polka dot book it has like little like pop bubbles in it and you're supposed to like count it's like an old mcdonald book and you're supposed to count the animals and like pop the little buttons she loves that one um, it's one of her favorites. If it's a book that like she can interact with, it's, she loves it more. But she also loves to just like sit and page through books. And I don't know. Is she, <laughs> there's, there's a lot that has changed with her. Um, teeth wise, she still has, she has eight teeth. She has the four um, top front ones and then the four bottom front ones and she's actually been I think and I actually noticed yesterday because I went to like stick my finger in because like I've been like she's been acting like she's been teething and I could feel a little bump um in her bottom jaw so I think she has a couple more teeth that she might be trying to work on too so I think some more are in the works um but yeah I mean she's been doing really well she is really overall a very happy go lucky baby and she's just very busy and high ener energy she can have her sassy moments and her stubborn moments um but like overall like i think we are very blessed with her so she she is <laughs> she is our little joy and sunshine that is for sure we have so much fun with her like we we get into playing around with her very much and I love watching Matt with her because it is the sweetest thing. And she gets so excited when she sees him too. She literally would go, daddy, daddy. And it's so cute to see. And seeing their relationship is just so fun too. Um, and I have a great relationship with her too. Um, it's it's just, it's great. It's so much fun. And I love 
getting to watch her grow, it's, it's an amazing thing. Like this whole motherhood thing is a complete dream come true for me. So, um, that's basically all the updates with Braley. And then I guess just to kind of do a quick, like in general, Fairbanks, Fairbanks family slash life update for all of us. Um, we all are doing very well. Um, we're honestly busy all the time between, cause Matt and I both work full time. So between working and then obviously like, you know, just in general, other things that we got going, life things that we got going on and, you know, parties and all that get together is different. I mean, I swear we always have stuff going where we get in Matt because Matt works for um, the county here where we live. Um, he works for the road commission actually. And because it's Michigan in the winter, um, that means that the winter season is his busy season. He's a mechanic. So he fixes a lot of the trucks and stuff that go out to, um, I mean, like they do things like fix like potholes and take care of roadkill and things like that too. But during the winter, there's also plowing and salting and sanding and it's been his busy, busy season and Matt's been working a lot of extra hours, um, which obviously the pay is great when he gets all this overtime, but then it does take him away from us a lot and it makes it so he doesn't get a lot of extra like fun time free time too it and he gets tired a lot and stuff so it's kind of one of those that's like yeah the money's great but it's not necessarily always great on everything else but um we're definitely at, at, to a point where we're very much ready to be done with winter um so that way you know we can get more time and family time and stuff like that um and I'm just ready for the weather to be nicer because also now that Braley's walking, she also really enjoys being outside. Like I actually took her outside tonight because it actually was a little nicer and she loves to be outside and it'll be so much nicer like when it's not so like wet and muddy and all that. And then when it actually is warmer and stays lighter, it'll be nice to take her out more. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're all doing well. I'm doing well. Um, if you're wondering like weight wise with anything like that. Um, I'm still pretty much about the same. I actually just stood on the scale a couple days ago and I was 172, so pretty much staying the same. Trying to still get rid of those few little tiny pesky pregnancy pounds. Um, I mean, there's just, there's not a lot there. It's not the crazy end of the world. It's just more a mental thing for me. Um, kind of a mental battle for me. So then, it, <laughs> yeah, I will, I won't lie that it kind of has been driving me insane, but, um, working on it. So I guess then probably the other like life family update is we are in um, planning phases for baby number two. Um, I actually have an appointment on April 5 to go and get my IUD removed. So um, I guess kind of officially starting April 5 then I guess we will be in like you know the trying to conceive again phase. Um, so yeah, we have decided that we are ready to start trying again and we figured it, and we kind of think it's like a really good time because Braley will be, because no matter what, like regardless of when it is we, we get pregnant, Braley will be two when the baby's here and chance star should probably be somewhere between two and two and a half, depending on how long it takes us to get pregnant the next time. If it goes like when we started trying for Braley, it could happen like within the first couple of months. But you never know, things could take longer and it could, you know, you just never know with those kind of things. But yeah, so I mean, we're kind of aiming for a roughly two and a half year age gap between um, between Braley and the next baby. So um, yeah, we have decided that we are ready to start trying for the next one. So we will be, um, like I said, April 5 is when I go get my IUD removed because I have my IUD back and I got it back in pretty much right away. Um, as soon as I was able to after Braley was born. So we've had the protection. And so that way we are pre we were preventing for a while. But um, yeah, we're getting to that point. And I definitely won't lie that I actually have been kind of getting the baby fever a little bit and kind of like, I'm really ready to have a little baby again. Like, <laughs> and I think it's just because like Braley's so big and it's like, man, I miss having my little tiny baby. Like, <laughs> And it's like, I've seen a couple of people have some babies recently and it's like, oh, I want a baby again. Like, I, I, I won't lie. Like, it's the feeling is, is hitting of like wanting another baby and feeling very ready for another baby. So 
and like you know with discussing it with Matt and stuff like he's feeling like you know yeah it's a good time and he's fairly ready to um so that is an exciting piece so we are hoping you know it doesn't take us too long to get pregnant but if it does I mean if it doesn't happen right away when we start trying like we're we're okay with that we're okay with if it does take a little bit to you know like we like I said we're kind of aiming for a roughly two and a half year age gap um between them so yeah that's um that update um work is going well for me you know just still working away um but definitely one thing is for sure with planning for baby number two is um with Braylee I went back to work when she was eight weeks old and I am not going to do that with baby number two I am going to take my full maternity leave that I'm allowed to take and I only went back at that time with Braylee because my boss begged me and I'm not going to let my boss do that to me with baby number two. Like, I'm going to take the full amount of maternity leave that I'm allowed to take. Um, just because it's not only going to be an adjustment for me and Matt, it's going to be an adjustment for Braylee as well. And I feel like it would just be best for me to take the full maternity leave. So my plan with the next baby is to take the full maternity leave. Um, and I'm still going to work full time. Um, cause financially right now it's just kind of what Matt and I need is for us both to continue doing full time. Um, someday down the road, I honestly wouldn't mind going down to part time just so I can have more time with my kids and be able to do more with my kids. But just right now it's just not quite feasible for us. So someday down the road, hopefully that will be a possibility, but as of right now, not so much. So yeah, um. I think that's pretty much all the updates I have for you guys. Um, you know, overall, we are doing well around here. Like, we cannot complain too much. Just kind of trend, trekking along and taking our life one day, one moment at a time. And, yeah, we really, really can't complain too much. We're overall doing well. I mean, obviously, we have rough patches, rough days, rough moments. Everybody does throughout life. But as a whole, we are doing very well and can't complain too much so with that being said I'm gonna end this video here because it's so long because I had so much to update you guys on but thank you guys so so much for watching love you guys so so much and we'll see you in the next video bye and just for one more quick look here is my little sleeping baby like you can hardly see her face because she's so <laughs> has herself so covered there but so yeah just one last little look at Braylee too sleeping um, but yeah, so see you guys in the next one. Bye.